There is a story on a righteous man that passed away a few years ago. His name is Rabbi Yuda Zev Lebovich. He lived in a village named Urshave in Hungary before of the Holocaust. He was a child. Rabbi Echiel Tzvi was his father and his holy mother's name was Golda. When he was a child, there was a non-Jewish person, a kid, that lived in their village, that was always abused by the other kids of their village. They were beating him, they were chasing him, mocking him, and on. Rabbi Achiel Tzvi, the father, was always taking that kid into their house, washing his face, cheering him up, supporting him. In one of the days, Rabbi Yudha Zev, his child, came to his father and asked him, Father, why do you care so much from that boy? He's not related to us in any way. He's different than us. And we must remember that the culture in those years before the Holocaust, the differences between the nations, the culture and ways of education were very different. The old Orthodox Jewish people lived a very different way than the non-Jewish people that lived with them in the same villages. So the question was simple, and the father answered his child with a verse, Send your bread upon the waves of the water, and with the days you shall find it. The war began, and the Jewish people were taken from their villages. Most of them were murdered. Rabbi Yudha Ze'ev, as a 17 years old kid, was taken to the horrible Auschwitz camp. He said, that in one of the days, while he was walking, starving and broken, so close to death, he heard someone call his name. He turned to the side and he saw that same kid that his father was taking care of. And he was working in an important position in the camp's kitchen. And he called Rabbi Yudha Zev into the kitchen, a place that for sure no Jewish person was allowed to enter. And he would be killed for that as alone and he fed him, he took care of him. And on daily basis, Rabbi Yudha Zev would come to the kitchen and that kid would feed him. Rabbi Yudha Zev Lebovich, may his soul be honored and respected fully in heaven, as he should, said that only by the merit of that mitzvah of his father that protected that kid, he survived the camps. He survived the horrible Holocaust and was fed by him and the bread that his father put upon the waves of the water came back to his child and saved his life. You make one mitzvah and you feed someone else's lacking. You help him and the reward shall come, not always in such a direct and clear way, but for sure that the Creator will not hold back the reward of no creation. Don't be afraid to give Emuna Project is a non-profit organization. To support this work, please make a purchase from our online store or donate through emuna.com. Thank you. My new book, Return to Your Root, is now on Amazon and emuna.com.